in the seventh universe. A few weeks had passed since the day Goku and Vegeta temporarily took over from Whis and Beerus so that the two divine beings could take a break from their respective jobs and functions. During this time, both Beerus and Whis took the opportunity to explore places on planet Earth and the two divine beings always stayed in a place where Bulma was the owner. Beerus and Whis took advantage and had fun as if they were two simple mortals and for humans not strange. Bulma ended up giving both divine beings devices to make Beerus and Whis look like humans. And even though Beerus didn't want to use it, he only used it so he wouldn't be bothered by any human because he knew that as humans were a primitive race, they could end up finding Beerus and Whis true form. Strange and in the worst case scenario, a war could break out between humans and divine beings. But Beerus already knew that that would be a huge waste of time. But he still ended up using that device and Whis did too. And they both enjoyed the places they went to and the food they were trying very well. Everything was being paid for by Bulma, who didn't even care as money had never been a problem for her and her family. Now with Goku and Vegeta, the two were doing their new jobs with excellence. And after some time, the Half-Angel and the Prince of Saiyans returned to planet Earth for a while to be with their respective families. And with that, their relationship with their families would not be affected, something that Goku did not ask for but demanded from Vegeta. After all, Goku had said that he would only be Vegeta's angel if he could still return to planet Earth to spend time with his family, something that Bulma and Chi Chi accepted and even thanked for doing this. Even though the women were used to the fact that their husbands were away from home training or doing other things, they were happy because at least every two days they would both get to see their husbands. And even though Bulma was in a complicated relationship with Vegeta because of the latest events, she still missed the Saiyan Prince a lot. And when Vegeta left, Bulma felt alone. After all, her children were already grown up and no longer lived with her. Guys, before continuing this epic story, leave your like and of course if you want to help the channel, leave your super thank you and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news. Vegeta as the temporary god of destruction of the seventh universe. He was doing very well destroying some planets that did not help in the development of the universe and the planets that he had to destroy the most were the planets that were being taken over by Frieza's army, which even after his death, his army still did the same things as its commander, which was conquering the planets. So Vegeta ended up using his power to eliminate a large part of Frieza's army so that they couldn't go around destroying and conquering the other planets. And Goku, who was at Vegeta's side, ended up using his power to help those oppressed people so that the planets could prosper at the hands of their original inhabitants, something that proved to be wise on Goku's part and even Vegeta insisted on destroying those planets Goku did not allow as they had hope of improving the seventh universe and these beings were not to blame for what Frieza's army did to them and their planet Vegeta was clearly irritated by that as Goku was an angel who should advise and not stop Vegeta from doing the things he wanted to do even so Goku didn't allow it and even used his power to rewind the time a few seconds when Vegeta destroyed a bridge just for the sake of destroying it because he was angry and that irritated Vegeta a lot who didn't say anything that day. But something that Goku and Vegeta didn't know was that Whis kept an eye on the two of them all the time and passed on the information he had to Beerus because he was the god of destruction of the seventh universe. Everything that happened in his universe could be considered big. So he should have known and Beerus was not at all happy to know what Vegeta was thinking and doing at some moments. But Beerus decided not to act for now and was just waiting for the right moment to act as Beerus was planning to put a plan into action, but for that, he needed more time to train with Whis, who already knew what his God of Destruction was planning. The angel was helping Beerus achieve his goal, so Beerus could not be considered someone weak by Goku and Vegeta. Even though they are extremely powerful currently, they thought that Beerus was no longer the warrior and opponent they had to be afraid of facing, but rather a weak opponent that Goku and Vegeta would be able to easily defeat whenever they wanted, but rather the half-angel and the, the Prince of Saiyans was very mistaken about the power that Beerus possessed, as Beerus would demonstrate the true power of a god of destruction from the seventh universe. Currently in the seventh universe, more precisely at Son Goku's house, it was possible to see the half angel in the living room with his wife. Both were watching a movie and enjoying each other's company, and as that day was Goku's day off, 
Regarding his new job as an angel, he was taking the opportunity to spend time with his wife who was happy that Goku spent so much time with her as every time he had time off from his new job, Goku would spend time with Chi Chi and with their children, grandchildren and great grandchildren who visited Goku and Chi Chi's house a lot, but that day, it was just the couple. But unfortunately for the couple, a pillar of energy appeared in front of Goku's house, who already knew who it should be, but was surprised by the sudden appearance of both divine beings. Goku said, Apparently Whis and Beerus came to visit me. I think they want to know how Vegeta is doing in his job as God of Destruction. Goku said while looking at his wife who just sighed as he was enjoying the moment between the two and now this moment would end with the arrival of the two divine beings. Chi Chi got up together with Goku and went to open the door for Beerus and Whis who entered and both had a serious look, something that made Goku and Chi Chi realize that the matter was serious and not something nonsense that Beerus was wanting to do or had come to ask. Goku said, by the look on your two faces something serious happened this time and since you're here it means you need me or the matter this time is related to Vegeta which I think is more likely because of the looks on your two faces. Goku said while looking at Beerus and Whis, who nodded in agreement and that made Goku sigh. Whis said, exactly Goku, apparently Vegeta has been very busy destroying some planets and some of them Vegeta destroyed in the correct way as they were being harmful to this universe. But after some time, we saw that Vegeta began to destroy some planets alone while you stayed with his family and only after Vegeta did this, he would stand by his family and all this destruction is altering the balance of the universe and he apparently Apparently is really enjoying destroying the planets and the lives that exist on them and this is dangerous for all of us. After all, if the universe is judged in a wrong way by the high priest, the universe would be destroyed just like in the tournament of power. Was said while showing a hologram with his staff which showed Vegeta destroying several planets without Goku's accompaniment and every time Vegeta smiled as he destroyed the planets along with billions of lives showing that he had no remorse and enjoyed doing that. Something that left Chi Chi disgusted and Goku sad to see that Vegeta was still the old Vegeta who wanted to destroy everything. Chi Chi said, it seems that even after so many years he still remained the same arrogant and proud Saiyan who just wants to destroy everything and everyone without caring if they are innocent or not. I feel sorry for Bulma who is married to him. Chi Chi spoke sadly about her friend who was married to someone like Vegeta who Chi Chi thought was not a good person, even more so after what she had just seen. Goku said, apparently it was a big mistake to have released Vegeta's power and it was much worse to have turned him into a god of destruction, even if temporary. Vegeta had a much bigger ego than normal and thanks to that he must think who can do absolutely anything he wants and as I had stopped Vegeta from doing this a few times, he got angry. Even more so, when I went back in time to prevent the destruction of an innocent planet, this must have made him very angry. After all, an angel like me shouldn't interfere but rather observe and perhaps give an opinion on what the God of Destruction is doing and nothing more. Goku said while looking at the hologram and seeing the things that Vegeta was doing. For Goku the deaths of those beings were his fault as he was the one who released Vegeta's power and if he hadn't done that none of those beings or planets would have been destroyed by Vegeta's hands. Beerus said, I know you're thinking that this is your fault Goku and in reality it is but now is not the time to be regretting it. Let's go after Vegeta who must be destroying another planet and we will stop him and then we will use Shenron's power to bring the planets and their beings back. Vegeta did not use the power of destruction to destroy those planets so they can return to life peacefully so not all is lost in the case of those beings and their planets. Beerus spoke in a serious tone. Because really all of that was Goku's fault and even indirectly he was responsible for the death of all those beings and planets. Goku said, so let's go. I don't want Vegeta to continue destroying planets and killing innocent lives. Goku said giving his wife a kiss and then he teleported along with Beerus and Whis to the place where Vegeta was who had just destroyed another planet and wasn't even surprised by the arrival of Whis, Beerus and Goku. In fact, he smiled when he saw those three. Vegeta thought, it's time to test how strong I currently am. Will I be able to defeat Kakarot before Beerus or Beerus before Kakarot? Vegeta thought, wondering which of the two opponents would be defeated first by his current power. In the seventh universe, Currently in the seventh universe, more precisely in a place millions of light years from planet Earth, there were some planets where most of them did not have intelligent life, 
but only some material resources. In the middle of space, near those planets, it was possible to see Vegeta, Goku, Beerus and Whis. Everyone present came after Vegeta who was destroying the planets with living beings simply because he wanted to do so. And as Goku was not allowing Vegeta to destroy everything, the Prince of Saiyans decided not to destroy the planets in the presence of Goku, knew that the Half Angel would stop him from doing that. But Beerus and Whis had gone after Vegeta to prevent him from breaking the balance of the universe. After all, if that happened, everything within Universe 7 would be destroyed along with everyone who lived in it, as Goku and Vegeta's family would end up dying. And not only that, but Beerus would also lose his life and this is one of the main reasons why Beerus wanted to stop Vegeta. After all, he could still be punished by Zeno-sama. We said, Vegeta, tell us, why exactly did you do all this? Why is it destroying so many planets with all living beings? Even you should be smart enough to know that destroying a large number of planets simply because you want to can end up altering the balance of the universe. This could have a huge consequence. And if Zeno finds out, this could result in the destruction of the seventh universe along with the your family. Tell us, Vegeta, why are you doing all this? The angel asked in a serious manner while looking at Vegeta who stared at him before answering the question from the original angel from the seventh universe. Vegeta said, I'm doing my job the right way. I'm destroying all those planets that are delaying the development of the seventh universe. The ones I destroyed are hindering the progress of the seventh universe and there are the planets that are under control of members of Frieza's army. So eliminating these planets is the best solution and I admit that doing all this makes me very happy. After all, destroying anything related to Frieza makes me happy in a way. Vegeta said while looking at Whis and the other two who didn't really like that answer, especially Goku, who thought it was extremely stupid. Goku said, Vegeta, I told you that it wasn't the being's fault for being enslaved by members of Frieza's army. They could lead normal lives now without Frieza's army enslaving them. And yet you went there and killed all those beings and destroyed their planets? Goku said, visibly irritated. After all, Goku stopped Vegeta and advised him not to kill innocent beings who were just victims of Frieza and his army. And even then he didn't care and killed everyone. Vegeta said, since you want to stop me so much Goku, then how about facing me here and now and not only you but Beerus too. After all, the three of us can be considered the three super powerful ones of the seventh universe since Whis is an angel by complete and can't fight. So he doesn't get this superpower like the three of us. We're going to fight and the winner rules the losers. That seems like an excellent idea, don't you think? Vegeta said while looking at Goku and Beerus, clearly challenging them both to a battle for control of the seventh universe. After all, those three were the most powerful in the entire seventh universe. Goku said, if we fight and you lose, will you accept orders from one of us without trying to rebel against us? Goku asked while looking at his old rival who nodded positively at him and with that Goku sighed and accepted to fight. Then he moved away from Beerus, staying a safe distance from Beerus and Vegeta. Beerus said, so this is what you want Vegeta, a fight between the most powerful, if that's what you want, that's what you'll get, said the true god of destruction of the seventh universe, releasing his energy of destruction and upon seeing this, Vegeta and Goku did the same thing. When Whis saw what was about to happen, he hit his staff on the ground, causing everyone to be teleported to another dimension where their battle would not affect the seventh universe and just to be sure, Whis created several barriers around them preventing the energy of those three somehow affect the 12 universes. Beerus is the first to attack, advancing towards Vegeta and performing several blows that Vegeta managed to dodge for the most part. But one of the blows was so fast that Vegeta instinctively defended himself by crossing his arms and upon receiving the blow from Beerus, Vegeta was thrown to so far away that he ended up crashing into the barrier made by Whis creating a crack in the barrier. Goku activated the power of Ultra Instinct and advanced towards Beerus trying to land a kick at the God of Destruction who dodged dodged the attack and counter-attacked with a punch to Goku's abdomen, making the half-angel spit out some saliva, then Goku received it. A right punch and another left followed by a kick given by Beerus that threw Goku away. Whis thought, apparently Mr. Beerus' training was very effective. His strength and speed became much greater and not only that, but his reaction speed increased a lot. But Beerus is still not using his full power in reality. I'm even curious to know what Vegeta and Goku's reaction will be when they see Mr. Beerus' new power. Wise thought as he looked at Beerus in that battle and a smile ended up appearing on Whis' face when he learned that Beerus wasn't even using his full power yet. 
Vegeta, upon feeling those blows, became very angry and advanced towards Beerus, trying to land a punch at him. But Beerus managed to dodge most of the blows, and when one of them was about to hit Beerus, the tail of the God of Destruction ended up holding Vegeta's wrist, and with that, Beerus turned his body and threw the Prince of Saiyans towards Goku, who had advanced towards Beerus. When Goku saw Vegeta, he tried to punch him, but Vegeta managed to turn his body, dodging Goku's blow, who ended up receiving a kick from Vegeta, followed by a key sphere fired by Beerus, who advanced against Goku and Vegeta. Beerus landed a kick at Vegeta, who held the God of Destruction's leg, and with that gap, Vegeta fired a blast of energy at Beerus, making him fly back, and with that, Vegeta gave an arrogant smile, but his smile disappeared when he received a punch from Goku that hit his face, sending Vegeta away from him. The three warriors recovered from the previous blows and looked at each other for a moment and then they all advanced towards each other causing the three to collide and begin a hand-to-hand -hand fight at high speed. Only divine beings would be able to see and some would still have difficulty seeing due to the speed of the three most powerful in the seventh universe, but for Whis, it was easy to see the speed of those three beings. Vegeta, using his power of destruction, began to land several blows on Goku, but Goku dodged Vegeta's blows and at the same time attacked Beerus, who defended himself and attacked Vegeta and then Goku. Beerus managed to land several blows on Goku and Vegeta, but the two began to focus on hitting Beerus, who ended up having to dodge and defend himself from the blows of his two opponents. But Beerus Beerus didn't spend the entire time defending himself as the God of Destruction raised the his power, generating a small pulse of Kai, making Goku and Vegeta open a gap. And with that, Beerus landed a precise punch on Vegeta's face, followed by a kick on Goku's face, making them both separate, and at the same time, Beerus generated two spheres of energy from the destruction in his hands and fired at the two, generating an explosion of energy of destruction. Goku and Vegeta, upon receiving the attack, ended up being injured, and upon seeing this they began to increase their powers, and the two together advanced against Beerus and began to give a sequence of blows together to Beerus, who began to be cornered by the two warriors, who began to hit several precise blows at Beerus who was retreating. Beerus thought, looks like it's time to use that. I was being underestimated by these two for a while, but now it's time to show why I'm the god of destruction in the seventh universe. Beerus thought and then released his aura, making Goku and Vegeta move away from him out of pure instinct, as if they were bunnies in front of a lion. Whis thought, after almost dying in the tournament of power, and after almost being killed by Vegeta and Frieza, Mr. Beerus managed to activate the power of Ultra Instinct in Omen form, and after I sent him to that other dimension so he could train, Beerus has finally achieved the power he always thought was impossible. Now he is probably the most powerful god of destruction in history. He thought the angel as he looked at Beerus and saw a great aura surround his body that made everything around him shake and possibly all the other 12 universes were shaking with the release of that energy. When Beerus's aura stopped being released, Goku and Vegeta were shocked to see that Beerus was using the power of complete Ultra Instinct combined with the power of destruction so it would be a type of Ultra Instinct fused with Hakai, it would basically be the union of Ultra Instinct of Goku and Vegeta's Ultra Ego. Beerus, the moment he transformed, advanced towards Goku and Vegeta, giving neither of them time to react. Goku ended up receiving a punch from Beerus which made him gasp for air and before he understood what happened, Goku received a blow to the back of his head which ended up knocking out the half angel. Vegeta fired a blast of destruction energy towards Beerus, but the attack ended up missing Beerus who appeared in front of Vegeta and started punching him in the face until the Saiyan Prince ended up being knocked out by the brutal sequence of blows, and with this Beerus showed Goku and Vegeta that he is still the strongest in the seventh universe. So guys, the video ends here but remember don't forget to like the video to motivate me to bring epic videos like this one and of course subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news so bye.